Use the following layout for correctly striping a tennis court. This striping information follows the rules of the United States Tennis Association and the International Tennis Federation. Each baseline shall be divided in half by a center mark, four inches in length, which shall be drawn inside the court in parallel with the single sidelines. The center service line and center mark shall be two inches wide. The other lines of the court shall be between 1 inch and 2 inches wide, except that the base lines may be up to 4 inches wide. All court measurements shall be made to the outsides of the lines, and all lines of the court shall be of the same color, clearly contrasting with the color of the surface. Refer to our tennis court diagram for further information. Now that we have the main playing area, we can start to lay out the tennis court lines. Please visit portmaster.net and locate our diagram section for a complete copy of the tennis court striping layout measurements. We will be using a line taping machine to lay out the masking tape. This is an industry standard tool that's used to roll out two rows of masking tape, maintaining consistent width throughout the entire line. Line taping machines can be purchased through your Sportmaster representative. We will start with the long lines first, which are the side, alley, and center service lines. These lines will all be two inches in width. Begin by taping the left and right side lines. The outside of the playing box area will be the outside of each side line. After rolling out tape on each line, make sure to tear the tape and roll back over the tape to make sure the tape is pressed down firmly on the surface to minimize the possibility of bleed under. Next, we'll measure 4 feet 6 inches in from the outside playing box line on each side. This will be the outside of the left and right alley line. Measure in 18 feet from the outside of either side of the playing box. 18 feet will indicate the center of the center service line. We will roll tape from baseline to baseline, but the center line does not go from end to end. Per USTA rules, the baseline may be up to 4 inches wide, and the center mark is 4 inches inside the baseline. Depending on the desired width of the baseline, tear center line tape to leave masking tape for a center mark showing four inches into the play area. To achieve the proper length of the center service line, measure 18 feet from the outside of the baseline up through the center mark toward the center of the court. This will indicate the end of the center service line on each side. Tear the tape and square off each end to prepare for painting. Remove the extra tape on each side between the baseline and service line. Using a paintbrush or small roller, apply Stripe Right Line Primer between the rows of tape, making sure to force some of the material over each side onto the tape. This will enable the Stripe Right to bleed under and seal off any voids prior to painting. Shown here, the roller is taped to keep it from rolling. This produces a nicer look and prevents paint splatter. After the stripe right is completely dry and clear in appearance, apply the line paint by brush or roller. Carefully remove all masking tape before the line paint is completely dried. Make sure not to leave the masking tape on the court surface overnight. This will prevent tape adhesive marks on the new surface. After the tape is removed and the line paint is completely dry, we're ready to measure and tape the short lines. There will be four more lines, two base lines and two service lines. The base lines can be up to 4 inches in width from the outside of the playing box area. Roll out the masking tape and box off the ends to prepare for painting. Do not cut the masking tape on the surface with a knife or blade. This can cause damage to the surface. Last, measure and mask the service lines. The service lines are 18 feet from the outside of the base line. These will connect the alley line. Apply the stripe right and let dry completely. Apply Sportmaster white line paint using the same method as above and remove masking tape before lines are completely dry. 